Okay, now there's these couple of scenes here I want to just record for the record and share it, all right? So, brother, in, uh, take notes. This is from the Matrix, right, movie. So check it out. <laughs> Uh, this is the lady in red scene. Pay attention and remember it. Okay, now this is this sign of practicus, which people say is what His Imperial Majesty is said to be doing, or the Trinity sign, right? This particular hand sign right here. Now, we've touched on that how it has not not been used by the Freemasons prior to his imperial majesty. And this is a fact because they can't really document it besides in this book here, Codex Magica. But we're going to show something here, but let's roll it. Roll tape. Now, here is, um, here is Morpheus. Remember who Morpheus is in the movie? Yes, this is a Masonic movie, but there's a bigger point here. This is this sign of um, practicus, similar to his imperial majesty's hand sign or trinity hand sign, right? Now remember what the choice is. The choice right here in this part of the movie is about do you want to wake up or do you want to go to sleep? Do you, which pill you're going to choose, the red or the blue one? You want to wake up or go to sleep. Now, red and blue is significant because in the Hebrew Bible and in Torah, the red and the blue are certain chords. They have certain symbolic in the tabernacle. There's a certain symbolic logic to it. You know, honor, law, you know, like blue and red is sacrifice. Which one? Which pill are you going to take? You know, you want to go back to sleep or you want to see how deep the rabbit hole goes? Now note that 9-11 is Ethiopia's new year. Before this hype about 9-11 and Freemasonry, Ethiopia's new year was September 11th and still is September 11th. Remember, Ethiopia's calendar currently is 7,504 years. The Western calendar is like 2012 as of the present time. So we can see which one is older, which one is more original. Ethiopia is found in the Bible. Now let's just scroll forward to this lady in red scene. Okay, now. Now the Lord takes to a touch, a prison for you. Now here in the movie, you know this scene right here. <laughs> Now, remember who Morpheus is. 
it's interesting that Morpheus is the black guy in the movie. And the black guy is the initiator. In other words, he's the initiator of liberation, in other words, for Neo. Neo means new, as in the new man, the man whose eyes are open. Now, we find that this is significant when we consider this hand sign, which is really new to so-called Freemasonry. They are always um, assimilating new things, new ideas, and upgrading. Look at hip-hop and look at all these blackisms, the hand bounce, and uh, there's so many different things that have been assimilated, you know, within this system of things. Now, now it's interesting, Morpheus, as we said, Morpheus is the one that begins off this process of um, freeing oneself up from the slavery. And in a similar way, his imperial majesty is that same initiator or, should we say, an illuminator. So we want to make this brief connection right here between his majesty, between this particular hand sign, which according to the Codex Magica, is um, called uh, the sign of practicus. Now, in another part of this particular documentary here, this exposed DVD, it touches on um, this hand sign being a sign of intent or declaration. Now, the Illuminati or the New World Order adopting this sign now uses this sign for its own purposes, such as it has done on so many other things, religion, um, ancient science, technology, so many things they have adapted, perverted, and destroyed. As it says in the Bible, that um, Satan transforms himself as an angel of light. So it adopts many true principles and inverts their usages and their meanings. So we're going to close off on this right here for right now. Once again...